Hello friends and welcome back to my minivan detail series. This is typically how I would do a minivan detail at the dealership. I've received a whole lot of questions from people asking how you would detail for a dealership versus detail for an outside customer. And I thought, you know what, this is the perfect way after the idea was sent over to me and so my goal is to take it step by step by step and if you see the process that I go through hopefully this will help you to either develop your system or improve your system and I always suggest if you see my system or anybody else's take that and tailor it for yourself now what I'm doing today is Obviously, the next part of my system is I'm going to move to the back middle seat. And you will see that I did go over this in part two on the driver's side. Well, this is the passenger side and it's basically a repeat. So what I'm doing is I'll kind of go over the process, you know, and just kind of paraphrase. But I will blow out the carpet make sure that I'm loosening up everything that's caught in there. These carpets are crap. So uh, I just want to make sure I put that in there. And then I will wipe down the frame and the um, threshold. And I do want to add, there is a track that the door slides on. So you'll make sure you want to get all that gunk out of there, clean it out best you can. And uh, don't get too crazy with it because there is a lot of electronical stuff tucked in there. You don't want to mess that up. Uh, then I will uh, open up the stowaway box and clean it out and make sure it's good to go. I'll make sure the ledges are clean uh, and then I will make sure the seat is clean and then I'll fold it up and stow it away and then I'll just kind of tidy up from there. Uh, blow out the carpet again just to make sure and uh, clean up where the, the hook's connect to the floor. I'll clean all of that up. If I see some stains on the carpet, these carpets, you can't shampoo them. They just don't come clean uh, with the shampoo. They're just nothing more than a piece of material sitting on the floor. <laughs> and I really am questioning whether or not it's material. It's like one side of Velcro really. And everything sticks in it and all the stains stay. Not even with a steamer or even a steel uh, handheld brush will bring that stuff up typically. So, um, you know, you just tidy up and do your best. Do a little bit of vacuuming just to make sure that you're getting stuff loosened up. But remember, you are going to do a final vacuum. So, once you've done everything here, clean the back of the seat, you know, everything we just discussed. Then you are going to move to the front passenger area. Now here, what you'll do is, like I said, my system, I work in a circle. So I'll start outside, work my way inside and around, and then I will finish at the seat. So I'll handle the door panel, and at the same time, I will clean the window. Okay, I just found it easier. And then I will take care of the door jam and the frame from A pillar and to B pillar and just kind of make sure that the frame around uh, the door is clean, you know, all of that. And then I will um, work my way to the, the uh, side of the seat where the little controls are for the seat and you know just make sure i'm getting all of that little area cleaned up i will also at this point clean the b pillar and make sure that it's clean wipe down the a pillar if necessary and then i will go to the dash 
and the dash over here is going to be very simple you're dealing with the dash and then the airbag area just make sure the little grooves are cleaned out then you'll clean out the glove box and then the little dash underneath and you'll also want to wipe down the passenger side of the center console and the radio panel uh, that can sometimes get missed but that's just simply because when you're cleaning it you don't think about it or you there's just no way for you to reach it but you will also make sure that the little piece in between the seat and the console is cleaned up as well then you will clean the seat uh, make sure that it's good to go um, and you know at the beginning you'll want to blow all of the debris around I did forget to mention that uh, use your blower and just make sure you're loosening all of that up you don't need to vacuum because you're going to take care of that in your final vacuum anyway that basically covers it at this point you'll make sure everything above your head is good to go any handles visors mirrors all of that just make sure you're good and that takes care of the passenger side so thanks for hanging out on my channel guys i sure do appreciate you joining me for part four i hope to see you tomorrow for part number five we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and make sure that we're going to put the final touches on this minivan